What's up guys, Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today we're gonna to talk about hedge trimmer maintenance and some of the things that uh, we often overlook but can be very crucial if uh, not done. What's up guys, I'm Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today we're gonna to talk about some hedge trimmer maintenance tips. So uh, the first tip we got on the hedge trimmers is sometimes, and uh, a lot of the times I should say, is the one thing we forget about doing is greasing our gearbox. So uh, today we're gonna to show you exactly how, what the inside of this gearbox looks like on this Milwaukee hedge trimmer. A lot of these units have this casing on the bottom and a lot of them have a place for you to just screw your uh, white lithium right into and just squeeze it in there for easy maintenance. Some of these do not have that, such as you know this electric hedge trimmer. So uh, we're gonna pull this apart here and show you what the inside of this is and uh, how to actually you know, grease this if you needed to. So uh, once again, maintenance is often overlooked, but uh, we're gonna show you how to take care of it today. All right guys, so upon pulling this cover off down here uh, with these six screws that I had, this is what we get to, the inside of this. Now I pulled this apart strictly to lube this and to uh, clean my blades and sharpen them. So uh, we're gonna go into a different video on that. But uh, today's video, we're gonna show you how to grease this. Now, as you can tell, there's really not a lot of grease in this whatsoever. Uh, there is, there's enough for it to, to lube and do its thing, but uh, we would like probably more grease in this. And one of the things about this is we really can't turn this. So we're gonna have to just grease these areas and then you know once we put it back together turn it on and let it do its thing all right so for this application we will be using the echo red armor uh, lithium gear case lubricant from echo and uh, we're just going to take some of this this is specifically made for gears cables ball bearings things of that nature we've got the end cut off on it here and we're just going to uh, nicely put a coating in here just like so. And then we'll do the same thing around these units right here, just to make sure they are lubed nicely. And then once we get that going, that should lube up nice. Now, uh, <clears throat> we're not going to, of course, put a battery in this and do all this, but I just wanna show y'all that, uh, you know, this much is all you really need. It doesn't take a lot, but you could put a little bit more than that if you wanted to in there. You don't wanna fill this completely up because if you do, of course, you're gonna start getting gunk running out the end when you're using this. Another great feature or reason to take this apart and uh, do this is because some of these hedge trimmers that have this casing, a lot of the debris sometimes gets shoved back in here underneath this and uh, so you could you know, take this apart, clean all that debris out as well. So keeping your hedge trimmers maintenance properly is a uh, great thing. So this is how you would grease your gears. Hope this helped guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.